I like what just people have described so far from Australia. Um, just have a quick little haul here to share with you all. Uh, I'm not sure if um, Kmart's in Australia has the same products as Kmart in the US do. I'm sh I definitely do know that Kmart's in the US have more products um, related to scrapbooking than what we have here because scrapbooking is not as popular as it would be in the US as it is in Australia here. Uh, where I'm located I only have one scrapbooking shop um, as well as um, just a Target and your regular Kmart and stuff like that and they don't, K Kmart has a little bit of scrapbooking supply but Target, my Target is so small it doesn't have any scrapbooking supply at all so I'm only in a small town here um, but I was surprised I was in there the other week and I was surprised that Kmart actually stopped a few good varieties of um, scrapbooking supplies and when I usually go in there they don't have anything much at all from you know your glues and a few stickers here and there but I was surprised they had a few other embellishments as well as um, uh, paper bags for DIY and stuff like that so I was able to pick up a, a few good stuff so if you're in your local Target in Australia not Target sorry Kmart um, just pop in there and have a look because I was able to find some of these craft bags that uh, would come in really handy when you're creating or altering or decorating gifts for friends so let me share with you guys what I picked up and they're not very expensive also um, this whole packet of um, DIY craft paper bag uh, 20 in a pack I think this was um, hopefully if I'm not mistaken only three dollars for the whole packet so really really good price and uh, it's 120 millimeters times 180 millimeter craft paper bag so it's not a big size as you can see in my hand there it's not a big size and it's not super small so it's a good size to alter you can put your stamp images and stuff like that on there and it will be super gorgeous so I'll share with you guys what they look like you guys would have seen these already but you know in Australia here even craft paper bags like this is really hard to hard to find so it's a good thick weight and it's like your lunch paper bags you can even make mini albums out of this I'm sure just push the gust in like that and you can use that as a um, a paper bag mini just push the gust in and increase it all and I'm sure that will make a really lovely mini album and like I mentioned it's good quality paper weight it's not too thin um, but what I will probably be using it for is just altering it and um, the cover and filling it with gifts when I send out uh, swaps for my friends in future so that's really lovely and it's a good size like I mentioned it's nice and dimensional there so a uh, whole packet of um, 20 in that packet 20 of them and I also bought, bought it in the white also and white will you know be easy just to cover it up you don't have to do much to it with the craft one you can leave it as is or you can um, whitewash it with white paint also and with this one here you can paint it in or whatever you like so it's quite nice I mean I think if, if it is definitely 20 20 packs for three bucks is really cheap it's no more than that I don't think it is um, and I got the um, 10 pack cards here the brand is creative uh, that's a brand on all of these uh, these are cards 150 times 150 millimeters I think it's six by six and it has cards it's just cards in this particular one there's no envelopes in this one here at all which is good because I just want the cards because our cards that we make are really dimensional we even with the envelopes we can't post them in there anyways we just have to bubble wrap it or stuff like that and put it in a box with our swaps or stuff so it's pearlized this one so it's really really nice I like that the other two items that I got I got two packs of these this is card and envelope and I actually purchased it not for the card or the envelope I actually purchased it on the um, thought that I can turn it into a mini album because I like the size of it and it's really thick and durable as you guys can see there it's nice thick um, cards not cardstock cardboard not really thick cardboard also it's like a medium weight cardboard but it's really quite nice and it has this tie or this closure here that you can just loop it over but if you know, I'm going to turn it into a mini I might just you know cover it or take that out and put a different tie on here or just cover that entirely you know you come up with all sorts of things and there's a 10 there's 10 pack in here uh 10 pack is in 10 in total but it has five cards and five envelopes so i bought two packs so i can make two mini albums out of it and i stock these regularly 
when I purchased these, they were the last two, but they had um, restocked and they have more now. And this is a really good base to make cards also. So it comes really handy. You can make a mini album out of this, and then you can make cards out of the um, the cards itself. And it's really awesome. So uh, packet of ten, and again, I think it's only three dollars or so for the whole packet. So it's really cheap. Well. I think it's cheap because a lot of scrapbooking supply here in Australia is really expensive. So I bought two packets of those. So that's a good buy. Um, I was really happy they have this also. It's DIY pillow boxes. I've seen a lot of you guys um, altering boxes. You know, I think you might have these in like cardboard and stuff like that. Or you have dies that cut your own. But I was surprised that they had these because I um, bought it so I can alter. And then, I don't know if you guys can see what they look like. But you know your pillow boxes, the ones with the... The ends that go in, I don't know if that's a good description, but see that's a clear one, it's not really good, eh? You can't really see it properly. But the ends just like tug, tug into itself. Let me see if I can share with you guys the sample. My sample probably won't be very good. You probably would have to crease it and all that. Um, it's this clear acetate pillow boxes, so... I know they kind of go in, but I haven't actually played with these myself, so I'm not really good at this. But the ends, you know how the ends just go like in like that on both sides? You see that? Ta-da! There it is. It's just clear so you can't see it. But on both ends it just goes in and then you can decorate it with um, anything that you like. Your laces and embellishments and stuff like that. I'm trying to crease this one in, but this size doesn't want to go in. There we, go. there we go. Stay. <laughs> there you go. You guys, can, can you see that? Let me try and get something dark so you can see it. So you know those kind of boxes with the ends that go in? they would be good for decorating and sending out to, you and to your friends. So that's really nice. And you get 10 in a pack. And again, I think that's only $3 or so. So really handy there. Um, like I mentioned, I'm surprised I have these. Because even Spotlight, I don't think I've seen these in Spotlight at all. So... That was pretty good to alter. Um, they had um, various A4 size printed tissue paper, which is really lovely. So you can wrap lovely things um, or use them, um, watch podge them onto um, boxes and stuff like that. And this one's got all, all these prints in it. It's got like a damask, a script, um, two script types, and then like a floral one in the center there, which is quite nice. So. Again, I think that was 2 or $3 or so, so it's a really good buy. They had a different, um, another pattern also, but I like this one, so I only got this one here. And you get eight sheets, so it must be two of each because there's four colours here. So really happy with that. Um, also got, they had, um, by the same brand, Creative, they have different kinds of paper collection also. These papers are not the best of quality like they're not really thick they're only cheap stuff because i think this was only like two or three dollars for this this packet it's six times six mini paper pack and there's 24 sheets and the prints are really really cute so um, i've colored a few bright colored tilda images and i'm gonna make some like some cupcake cards um as well as alter some of those paper bags that you guys seen before so i'm really happy um just to buy some cheap paper bags so you can just decorate without spending too much money so I'll just share with you guys the papers there's that one there with the cupcake uh, i think there's two in there i don't know where the other one's gone there's that one it's probably all mixed up in there there's that one that says let's celebrate sweet party happy birthday and all that so really cute and fun patterns it's just a plain white one there there's some kind of like zigzaggy blue ones that we got. And then on the back of this one, oh, that one's, oh, sorry, it's not plain white. I thought it was plain white, but they had it back to the front, so spotty purple. Then we have these like little buntings and stars on it. It's quite cute. Little cupcakes. And then we have some stripes. Happy birthdays and all that again. Probably just a repeat. Let's go to some different ones. Some pink stripes. I don't know why they put these papers upside down, inside out, eh? Some more bunting, some squares, pink zigzags, spots, 
green stripes. They're really fun patterns to work with. Like I mentioned, the paper's not that thick, but you're gonna put it onto you know paper bags and stuff like that, so it'll be fine. Um, this is a zigzaggy green one with two little cupcakes. The blue one again. Stripey pink one, zigzag one, so it's just a repeat of everything, but they're all really, really cute. I mean, for two or three dollars, you know, they're good to play with, making kids projects or birthdays, stuff like that. They're pretty awesome. And um, they have some uh, different pattern uh, decorative tape also. It's four times five meter length, so it would be good. And these are very similar to, um, what do you guys call in your country? I'm not sure, but it's just it says decorative tape, so really nice like washi tape i think was it just sticky tape i'm not sure maybe what like washi tape it just says a decorative tape but i like these patterns because they're really cute and they coordinate with the paper collection really well so i might do a bit of layering there with cards and stuff um they had some double-sided tape foam also so i picked that up and i also you guys know i love to color with my watercolor and my distress ink so i was happy that they had this there and this was only three dollars like i mentioned it's 24 pages and it's 180 gsm which is not too bad for coloring anything smaller than 200 gsm uh, would be quite thin but it's 180 so it's, it's close enough and for three dollars it's pretty good because um I love the colour of my Distress inks and I was able to pick this up. So if you guys want to practice with your Distress inks in Australia, um, go purchase this. It's not too bad. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I'm sure it would be fine because I've purchased a couple of other brands from like news agencies and stuff like that. They were more expensive, um, but the outcome is pretty good. So I'm yet to try this and give you guys a feedback on what the quality is like once you paint it with your Distress inks and water. So... I'll let you guys know what the outcome is there uh, with that. And the other items I want to share is just some eBay purchases that I have um, picked up. Uh, these are by Joy Crafts. And I have used this on my cards, if you guys have noticed. I haven't got my cards in here, but with the purple card that I've used, is I've used this um, cut and embossing um, die. And it's by Joy Crafts. Um, I don't know if they stock these in the US, but here in Australia, they don't stock this at all. Uh, I only purchased this from ebayuk.co so just type in ebayuk.co and look up um, Joy Crafts and the code for this one here is um, 6002 slash 0147 and it cuts really really lovely um, I was able to use that in my purple card in the centre to write your message on there so it's really really gorgeous and the other one I bought was the cutting and, cutting and embossing you can use this like a, a feature on there I was just inspired by some cards that I've seen that had used these dies, so that's what um, prompted me to buy these dies. So the code for this one is 6002 slash 0149. I haven't used this one yet, but once I do, I'll be able to share it with you guys because you put your image and then you layer this um, on top, on the bottom as your centerpiece, and then you just stagger your flowers on top, or you can use it as a corner bracket, anything like that. It's really, really beautiful. Um, or chop it up in halves and use it. Um, as, as a flourish also, you know, it's, ideas are endless. Um, the other items that I purchased are also from eBay and I was able to stock up on some charms. Let me zoom in that you guys can see. Okay, these are some key charms that I was able to pick up and I can't remember if it was eBay or Ali, Alibaba or AliExpress. AliExpress or Alibaba, they're very similar, but they sell things in bulk, like laces and stuff like that. And some, most times it's really, really cheap. I think I'm going to buy, buy, purchase these from Alibaba, I think, or AliExpress. And you get heaps and heaps. I think it was like 50-something keys. And this was just one of the packets that I um, purchased. And this one has 26... 26 keys in it, but there's heaps and heaps of uh, beautiful keys. So I've seen a lot of guys use this steampunk key. There's two, you get two, two of each. So two of that. There's two of that one. Two of this one here. And uh, let me see the other one to that one. Two of that one. Whoop! Just drop one. Two of this one here. So they're really unique and just really gorgeous. Two of that one, two of this one here. I think I bought like three or four packets of these so I can share them with my friends also. And there's numerous little ones there also. And I think, like I mentioned, they come in a packet of 50 or 25, but they just bagged them in, in 26. So um, they don't lose count, I think. So really good ones. Um, this is from eBay. It's just some wings. 
that I um, bought as charms. I think there's like 20 here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. I think there's 20 of them. And they're pretty cute. They look like that with a nice scallop pattern on the wings there. And then good size. As you can see, the length of my finger there. So they're not too bad. I only have small ones, but I wanted some big ones so that I can put them on layouts and stuff like that. So they're pretty good. It's a shame they're not back to front like this so that I can use them the other way. But it doesn't really matter. You can come up with ideas. And the other ones that I have purchased are these little, really little ones. These are a lot smaller so that I can dangle them on mini albums and stuff like that. Or make stick pins out of them. Because some of these um, have got the holes in the centre for you to make stick pins for and then like this one here and that one and this one they're all different and that one again and these ones here are little charms so you can hang on your mini albums or your projects and stuff like that they're super cute aren't they so I really like those and then the other last item are these I'm not going to take them all out because they might just be repeats of each other but the spacer beads and they're beautiful. I don't have a lot of silver. I only have um, like antique gold and brass and stuff like that. But I like the silver so I purchased some of these. And, then, and they're not expensive like I mentioned. I think they came in a mix pack with the wings. But they bagged them individually. So, And they were really, really cheap also. So if anybody wants the link to these, just PM me. And I'll be able to uh, see if I can try and find the link again for you. I purchased these quite a while ago, sorry. Um... So I'll be able to try and have a look through my eBay histories and see if I can actually purchase these from eBay. I definitely do know that the wings I got from eBay, um, but the keys I must have purchased from Ali, Ali, AliExpress or Alibaba, one of those two. So I uh, hope you guys like my small little haul that I have got here to share with you all, and I've got more coming soon. And wish you all a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.